9.15, I have a doctor's appointment, so I thought I would try to squeeze in my morning after before I did that. So, oh my God, we have a lot to talk about, although I'm gonna save, I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm gonna save the DeMario Lexi drama for my written recap, just because I have all these thoughts about it and I wanna make sure that I word them the way I want them to be worded. But I'll just start in chronological order. Uh, first, where are we? Oh, yeah, such an entertaining episode. I felt like this episode had a bit of everything. Um, it had two like competitive dates, but it wasn't like stupid competitive where half of the group date has to stay home. Um, and it was funny, lots of funniness. Uh, I thought the, um, the first group date with the, you know, father material thing with Mila, Kunis and Ashton Kutcher was hilarious. They were, they were funnier than I expected. Uh, they were a nice touch. It was just funny. I was really rooting for Kenny. You guys know by now Kenny's a favorite of mine um, But yeah, he didn't cheat so there's that I gotta say I cannot take Lucas that seriously as a contender Like he won the, the extra time. I don't know if he won extra time. He went first in the cocktail part, part of the group date um, And I don't know he was like reading a Rachel a poem and I was like, okay next It's just I just don't buy it like you you're there for the waboom and it's fine, just, yeah. I just, I, I said this in my Pretty Pandas recap, actually in the comments below, that I don't like my intelligence to feel insulted. And so I don't have any problem with Lucas being there as a character piece. We know he probably won't last long, but the minute he tries to start being serious, I'm like, okay, I feel my, something, I have a niggle that my intelligence is being, um, Insulted. So yeah, Lucas is, I just wish he would just stick to his one thing. Cause I just don't really buy, buy it at all. I'm sorry. Um, next. Oh, the one-on-one -on -one with Peter. Oh my God, was this cute. Um, first of all, Copper is ridiculously cute. I can't handle him. Um, and then Peter, yeah, is really cute group date. I, I mean, one-on-one -on -one date. There was really nothing to complain about. I love how transparent um, Rachel is like she is obvious in who she likes and who she doesn't like like the people she wasn't into on the first group date it was like she was like and I love that I love that I can relate to that and just she's still polite she's still gracious but she's just not pretending to be interested in everyone which I really appreciate and I love how this ties into Peter how transparent she is like she's super into him and she's like I'm a smitten kitten like she's not pretending that she's that it's like an even playing field, and I like that. Good morning, good morning, Marianne. Thank you for, for saying good morning. Um, what I find interesting is how their relationship has like very much an even playing field feel to it. Um, and I say this in Bachelor seasons, so I think it's only fair to say it in Bachelorette seasons. I don't get necessarily the feeling that Peter's more into Rachel than she is into him. And I think that's a good thing. Um, Especially, you know, she was talking about moving and he was talking about wanting to move from Wisconsin and she's like, would you move to Dallas? And he was like, yeah, like he didn't, he wasn't like, yeah, let's, I'm packing my bags right now, which I feel like some guys would do um, ever so dramatically. And so I like that he um, doesn't seem like instantly in love or over the moon for her or fake in any ways. So I, yeah, I like that. I like how it just feels even. Um, second group date. <laughs> Um, okay, so this was an entertaining, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was entertained by, first of all, the basketball part, that was really cool. Um, I have to admit I was impressed by DeMario's basketball playing, but, um, God, that drama at the end, man, it, it, I was entertained, I cannot lie, I will discuss my thoughts on that, and they might not be what you think they'll be, I know what the popular opinion is, um, but yeah, we will. Oh, I have a question from Yanin. Did you think Peter was sort of dry and less into it than Rachel was on the dinner date? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I just touched on that. Um, I'll get to that. I'll get to questions at the end, but thank you. Um, so I'll talk about the Demario stuff after. So Josiah, I want to talk about Josiah for a second because I feel a bit of affect from Josiah and you guys know by now that that's something that bugs me a bit. Like if I feel it feels slightly acty or fake or put on, I, I, I get a little like, again, intelligence feeling insulted. I sort of feel like Josiah has that. He, 
he just delivers this not at all candid sounding speech about how seeing her in that state like awoke his protective side and then uh, just when she's like oh that's so sweet he's like okay i'm gonna kiss you now it just felt a little calculated for me it did not feel candid or just sort of off the cuff it felt like he was really and i get it i've been there producers are like what are you going to talk about with her you know what do you want to discuss and i get that he was probably like oh i want to discuss how i felt protective i get it it just felt too planned, too calculated, too put on. I'm still open. He was in one of my top four last week. I think that he's gonna last a very long time based on his airtime, his edit, all that stuff, his storyline. Oh my God, it's excellent and tragic and all those things. He's great TV. I just, something about that one-on-one -on -one time made me a little icky. And then he was rewarded with the group day bro, so uh, anyway. Okay, so I'll talk about the Lexi DeMario stuff in my uh, written recap. And as you know, you should check out all of Pretty Pandas. I will have that out around Thursday, Friday. And I'll also touch on the fashion there because I had a lot of fashion requests this week. Um, and to get to the question, did I feel Peter was sort of dry and not that into it? Again, I feel like this comes back to what I was saying earlier about it being sort of an even playing field. Um, I didn't feel like he wasn't into it, I felt he was just sort of feeling it out. And if the roles were reversed and she was the bachelor and he was the bachelor, uh, like a bachelorette, I would be super into that. I've talked about that in the past, like how I like it when the lead is sort of kept guessing and like, you know, it's not, it's not all in their hands and I really like that. So I like that he didn't seem too over the moon because I actually would have thought that felt a little forced or fake, which is, yeah, getting back to Josiah. Anyway, okay, thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to read my written recaps this week and yeah, I'll see you next week on the morning after. Thanks. <laughs>